What's up everyone, Fido here from Self Taught Hustle. And today I wanted to talk about the conversations that many of us have when we're learning to code and how the conversations in our heads that we have when we're learning to code often make learning to code more difficult than it has to be. Uh, I was talking to a up and coming software engineer recently and it occurred to me that as I was speaking to him, that there's actually two problems that are going on when an individual sits down to learn to code or to learn something new. There's the actual technical problem of understanding the logic for the code or understanding how to get to a solution point. And then there's the conversation that goes on in the individual's head. Now, I can, would go so far as to say that getting over that conversation is more difficult than the actual code in and of itself. Because in the code, for simplicity's sake, say that the logic simply just adds one plus one to equal to two, may be that simple. But if theoretically, right, in a very exaggerated sense, only to illustrate that the problem in front of the individual may actually be a simple problem. But the fact that the individual has to fight himself in order to be able to even just look at the problem long enough to get it ends up being a bigger problem, right? Because what are the conversations that many of us have, especially as self-taught developers? Oh, I'm too stupid. Oh, I'm not smart enough. Or, oh, I have so oh, or I have something else to do. Or, oh, this is just a, such a waste of time. Oh, I'm never going to get it, right? Like, so why would you say that? Pay attention, could because when you have those thoughts, I would recommend you ask yourself, well, why would I say that to myself? And a way to put that into perspective, think about if you were tutoring somebody who was learning to code and you are the tutor and there is a student in front of you that is learning to code. Well, when the as a tutor, what would make you more what would make that student have a better success rate learning to code? Would it help the student for you to be telling the student, hey, you're a loser, or hey, why don't you just give up, or hey, you're never gonna understand this? How would that be conductive to the student's learning process, right? You'd better, you'd be better off saying encouraging things like, hey man, good job. I'm glad that you showed up today to learn to code. You know, many people don't, don't take the time to do this. So I'm proud of you. You know, you're better off saying those more encouraging things like, hey, way to go. I know that this problem is difficult, but you've taken the time today to at least attempt to sort it out. That's a big plus one. Many people don't even, I can't even get to that point. Right. So that's a much more constructive conversation to be having with that student. Now, you're really having that same conversation with yourself. Right. So you're the tutor and the student at the same time as a self-taught developer. So it's much more conductive to have a positive conversation. And when the negative thoughts come in of, hey, I can't do this or, hey, I'm done. Ask yourself, why, why would I tell the student, which is yourself? Right. Why would I tell myself that? Is that actually going to help me resolve the problem? And it can tend to put a stop to that, those thought patterns, because otherwise you're not just learning to code, but you're also fighting yourself while you're learning to code. And that spends a lot of energy, right? So either way, just wanted to keep it short today. Really appreciate you guys. Make sure to comment on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to like the video and share it if you find this content of value. Thank you guys and I will see you next time.